Okay guys, today's a very special day. We're gonna be testing the Formula 4 car. I bet you're wondering, what is Formula 4? I'm here to explain what that is. Basically, Formula 4 is the perfect next step after go-karting. It's marketed towards young drivers that are stepping out of a go-kart and wanting to step into the next big thing, a Formula race car. Formula 4 is an FIA certified open formula racing championship sanctioned by the SCCA or Sports Car Club of America. There is no global championship just like Formula 1, Formula 2, or Formula 3. Instead, there's regional and national events such as Australian, British, Chinese, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, and of course, United States. Depending on which championship you're in, you could use any one of four chassis and any one of six powertrain configurations. Although there isn't a global championship, Championship wins contribute to the FIA Super License system, and thus it's the only racing series in the United States that allows you to earn your way up to Formula 1. Grand prize for the championship would be a full scholarship for the Formula 3 series. Typically, the aero isn't that aggressive, there isn't that much downforce, and the horsepower is very low at about 160 horsepower. So it makes it the ideal series for go-kart drivers 15 and up looking to get into Formula cars. New challenges, new experiences. I'm very excited. I'm going to be testing a full blown race car today. Not my first test and not my first time working with a race car, but it will be my first time doing the entire testing procedure and whatnot on a race car other than my university's FSA car. Really excited, really blessed because this is going to be pretty much what. I'm anticipating to do with my career. Hoping to learn a lot today and be able to repeat this many more times. All right guys, this is it, the home track. Homestead Miami Speedway, home of the NASCAR series finales up until this year. This track is one of a kind. It's a one and a half mile oval circuit, but today we're gonna be running the road course um, without the NASCAR turns, I believe with the NASCAR turn, I'll find that in a little bit. And right now we're just gonna have to get signed up here and then go on through. People that want to take their road cars out and drive them for fun on the track, you know, regular track day. But race teams will take advantage and use that as a day to test their cars or rent out their race cars to you know, any customers that would like to. Here we are, Garage 11, and there's Bay right there. All right, here she is. So, already I've been told that I need to get the radio going. It's installed, but I just need to figure out how to set it up. And pretty soon we're gonna be out on track. I've always wondered why some drivers wear tape on their ears like this. Well, I'm about to find out why.
banking setup with the NASCAR turns now. Running on a schedule and everything too, so it's a little, it's a little frustrating, to say the least. But what can you do? You're sharing the track with other people, uh, just like in go karting too. But this is a lot more, a lot more can go wrong here. There's a lot more logistics and a lot more variables. down the tire temperatures before and after, the lap times, who the driver was, it's going pretty well so far. Right now we're gonna do a wing change. It was down here for now at the max downforce. You don't really need that much downforce, so we went five holes up for less downforce in the rear. Other adjustments would be lowering the right height because we feel that exiting the slow corners, the back end is kicking out. And also here, we're monitoring how much fuel we're consuming by putting in a set amount of gallons, running it, and then emptying it out and then seeing how many gallons that uh, left the car with and that will give us our consumption rate, which is pretty important for races and fuel strategies.
Go fast, Sandra. Go fast, Sandra. So our day was cut a little short due to the rain and whatnot, but we got some good lap times and I did manage to get data, some raw data. I figured out how to start saving the data, that was the issue at first. And now I just need to process it and compile it, match all the sensors and the channels together and then that way I can start analyzing it. So, good day today. That's the pole position motorsports and uh, hopefully there will be another test day, a more complete one. And once again, Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see you on the next one.